Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is my video response to Danielle Brown's 150 Subby Challenge. This is my second one. The first one was for a 12 by 12 layout, and this was my layout. And I fixed this, in case any of you all noticed. Well, a couple of you did. Thank goodness. I had these words backwards. I had moved them, and I thought, well, I'll turn the camera off so you all wouldn't have to watch. And... I put them backwards. Didn't even pay attention. So thanks to YouTube bubby buddies, <laughs> I got it fixed. And I did my 4x6 card. And I did it several times. I watched Danielle's video. And she said something about uh, a challenge that she was in and had done a card. For a mini album so I watched it and I did it one way and then I watched some of the uh, video responses to hers and so I thought well, I'll do it again so I tore it apart and did it again and so this is what I ended up with <coughs> and uh, I made a banner I used this here in Lizzie Neapolitan and this is uh, uh, Tim Holtz uh, film strip and um, I, you had to use yellow, pink, and mint green. And I used, this is the piece I used, had left over from my layout. And I used it on there with the dots. And that was a Doris dot. Um, <coughs> I'm out of frame, sorry. <laughs> uh, Doris dot embossing folder. And then I made a banner down here with um, punches that I had and vellum and doilies and um, sequins and hearts and all kinds of stuff. And then I did the same thing with my banner. <coughs> Excuse me. And I fixed it where she could put pictures in. Then, I guess I'm a stalker too because I was looking at the video responses because Danielle does have a playlist on her channel with the video responses from her challenge so you can go watch them and when I looked last night there was like 22 so there was quite a few she's gonna have a really thick mini album anyway she said she'd replied to somebody and said she probably wouldn't put pictures on it so I had places for pictures so I thought, well, what am I going to do in case she don't want to put a picture on there? So she can still put the pictures on there. She can pull this up and put a picture in there. Or she can pull this out because I don't even have it down. But I decorated it. I stamped it. This is from the Dear Lizzie also. But it was from the 12 by 12 I just cut a strip out with the clouds. And it says, flying by with a high. And got a little airplane. And I got that stamp set from... Simply Ionic stamp set I got off of HSN. I love that stamp set. I think I use it more than any other stamp set. And then I punched out some hearts. And they're from the Lawn Fawn Heart Punch. Not punch. It's die. Uh, die. Um, I got some hearts from that. And I fussy cut some of the things out of the Dear Lizzie. And then I made a place for journaling in case she does put pictures in there. And this doesn't match that, but it does match the other side. Because I noticed that she said that you put something about yourself on the other side. So, I put Ronnie Sue Scrapper, and I used this Dymo label maker. And I used the same cardstock that I used for this. And since it's Corations, I sanded it. And because it is light... <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are really bothering me. At this time of year, I have lots of trouble. Uh, I took my white gel pen and just made it brighter. But when you use darker paper, since it's white on the inside, it shows up better. And so I put Ronnie Sue Scrapper Loves. And I used a little paper clip with a bubble thing. And I put my grandkids... And I put the kids in parentheses because I love my kids and my grandkids. Scrapbooking, coffee, photography, hearts. See, I've got a few of them on here. Arrows, 
I managed not to put no arrows on here. Roller coasters. Disney, and it would have been Disney movies, but I'd had to put it on the other line. And I don't have these in any particular order either, because um, whatever fits what I, how I put it. History, I love watching history things on TV. Uh, sightseeing, YouTube, and crafty friends I've met on YouTube. Thickers, books, challenges, process videos, that's layout process videos, another kind. Uh, travel, early mornings with birds singing, especially, you know, in the summer, not so much in the winter. Although, every now and then you do hear them sing in the winter. Any shade of green, sunshine, music, and taking walks in light rain. And the last one is smiles. Not the least, but the last one. Anyway, that's my 4 by 6 for Danielle's Challenge. You still get, have time to get on. I think it ends the 12th. <clears throat> and um, she's got Amy Tan as the prize. Uh, lots of Amy Tan goodies. So if you like Amy Tan, go on over to her channel. I'll leave a link down below so that you can get in on it. And check out her challenge. And if you do a layout, I think you get three entries, uh, four by six, two. And if you mail it to her, two more. So you've got a total of seven entries. And you've got to use yellow, pink, and mint green. Anyway, congratulations, Danielle. I looked just now. You had 308 subbies. So since the 20th, when she started the challenge, she's doubled her subbies. Yeah. That is awesome. Anyway, head on over to her channel. I'll leave the link below. And thanks, Danielle, for the fun challenge and awesome color. Bye.